Use words in a smart play and make them a financial services all the way. A pleasant greetings to one and all present here. I, Swarna Prakash, on behalf of the Shadrapuram Institute of Management Studies, would like to welcome you all to the gathering of virtual webinar on emerging trends of finance management. It's my immense pleasure to welcome the speaker of the day, Dr. Deepthi Sahoman. I'm glad to put forward a few words about Dr. Deepthi Sahoman. Dr. Deepthi Saho is currently working as Assistant Professor in Management at Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Knowledge and Technology, Naswit. She is having more than a decade of experience in teaching and economics. She completed her MA MPhil from the Central University of Hyderabad in economics, specialized in financial and economics. Dr. Saho has completed her PhD in IIT Kharagpur in the area of banking finance. She mostly engaged with various management subjects like finance, accounting, operational research, and other areas as well. Her research are mostly focused on banking finance, agricultural finance, microfinance, women, and finance. Apart from the area of finance, she is equally involved in innovation, innovation, innovation and entrepreneurship. Presently, she is an in charge of coordinated Yeah, continuous for now. I think somebody, yeah. She had published papers in banking, finance, environmental, social, development, etc. She had presented papers at many national and international conferences. She also extended her services for the student council and welfare segment. On behalf of management student and staff, I extend a warm welcome to you, ma'am. I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails, always reach my destination. On this note, I would like to extend my warm welcome to the director of the organizer for his continuous support and motivation. I would like to extend my hearty welcome to the faculty member, Nagendra Prasad sir, for the virtual gathering, for his able guidance, who is serving as a backbone for the event, for helping us to gain the able knowledge and guidance. Last but not the least, I would like to welcome all my dear classmates for the virtual gathering on emerging trends of finance management. Spread love, spread happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Sarna. Thank you so much. And thank you, Nagin. Thank you. So, uh, before I start my club, uh, Sarna had given my extended uh, description, like what I have done and what I am doing. But uh, along with that, uh, all of the students, as I told you, I'm in uh, student counseling and also I'm dealing with uh, uh, student as warden, also uh, as a teacher. Okay, so my way of teaching is uh, more interactive than uh, dominating teaching. That means uh, one way teaching uh, I don't prefer as a teacher. So mostly I uh, like two way teaching. That means whatever your problem or uh, whatever you feel that you want to ask. Okay, don't keep it in your mind. Okay, so what we will do, the whole presentation I will uh, start. Every half an hour, I'll provide you five minutes. Okay, last 20 minutes will be for the discussion. And uh, uh, those, me, yes. No, my friend, I, I sorry, I didn't just mention my friend, Abuana will be taking over the introduction of the college, ma'am, now. Okay. Buana? Hello. Yes, hello. Yeah, Bona, yeah, Bona. First of all, good morning to everyone present here. Uh, Sheshadipuram Institute of Management Studies is the uh, flag, uh, flagship men, uh, management institution under Sheshadipuram Educational Trust. 
since its uh, in um, inception in 2001 the institute has left no stone under um, unturned to uh, provide professional and quality education in the stream of management as a result of our com uh, commitment of ex excellence we have made an in uh, mark on an academic world and thrive today as one of the best mba colleges in bangalore and i would like to welcome you all to the webinar thank yep. you sir yeah, please take deep in yeah. yeah. thank you thank you bhavana okay so uh, as i told you guys uh, if you have any question every half an hour i'll provide you five minutes because sometimes it happens uh, there is a question in your mind but uh, by the time your turn will come sometimes you got fun like you used to fun okay so shall we start yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma yes, ma thank you so uh, one more thing participant i would like to call you by name I don't like the roll number and IDs and all. So I may call you by name and it will be a little interactive. I want to know your opinion also. Okay. So all are ready? Ready to start the journey of finance? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Where is the tempo? Where is Sesadri Puram tempo? Guys, respond. Ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. All of you unmute your mics first. Yeah, continue. So, welcome you all. We will start with this emerging trend in finance. So, before we will start with this emerging trend in finance, I would like to introduce you the basic of business management. So, the whole uh, uh, this webinar topic is uh, business management, emerging trend in business management. So, first I will take you the journey of business management. Okay. As you have uh, opted this uh, particular subject, business management, so you should know how you should feel proud being a part of business management. Is it okay? So, uh, those who are having uh, some uh, volume or some interruption is there, my request to them be mute yourself. Okay? Yes, guys. So, uh, as in that, definitely we will go with the introduction, then the concept of management, different branches in management. Why? Uh, as I have been specialized and been referred to speak about the uh, finance. So, I will discuss about why you should take finance and what are the uh, basic uh, benefit to take this uh, finance. Then we'll explore different areas in finance. And uh, then we will discuss about the opportunities which are associated with the finance or the MBA in finance. Finally, the summary and conclusion, which is uh, the summary will be your uh, perception and the question for you. Because you, as a teacher, I can give you uh, n number of summary, but which may not reach to your heart. Okay, so summary, we will draw this summary. Okay, let's start the class. So what is management? So management is an art and a science of procuring, controlling, and utilizing all the financial and non-financial resources for achieving the best and the most economical budget. Right? Now it's an art. Why it is an art? Because when we are we are discussing about management, you try to manage. Okay. So the best example of management is your home. Okay, the household sector, before management come to the existence, the economics come to the existence, right? Uh, some of the students, uh, I, I, I request them to kindly mute yourself. So it's getting a little uh, interruption. Okay, so uh, when uh, the management come to the existence beforehand, people used to have this economics. So economics basically comes from the OKO normals, that is household affairs. What is household affair? How you really behave in your family, okay? So, 
the behavior you are dealing inside your family now in a family for example uh, your uh, parents are there your siblings are there right now i will take you the journey what you like for your food okay in the breakfast some of you don't like idli right as a young generation so you don't like idli at all uh, either it will be puri or some dosa but sometimes it happened you don't like but your mom had prepared why because your grandma she like or your father he like okay what exactly she used to do when we are discussing about managing the household affair we start our first activity of managing right from our household affair okay so management is a art art means how you are presenting yourself you must have seen some people they used to speak very uh, very loudly although they are speaking the right thing but the way of their approach is quite different and not acceptable i think few people are there who are very nicely coolly they will try to convince you okay you don't like to most of the uh, guys they don't like to uh, talk to their mother okay might be mama will be harsh but when it come to um, sorry they don't like to talk to their uh, father okay and girls they like to talk to their father is it so if you are uh, okay with me so you can also accept that when a son want to discuss with something first he will approach to his, not to his father but girls by default they will uh, approach her father okay now why this sort of social setup is there that will teach you how to deal with the situation with the people and the scenario what is the situation you are dealing okay so management is having a systematic process what we follow in science also management is a art how articulately how nicely how uh, beautifully you can present your thing or your ideas right so that's why management is a art as well as it's a science okay so next part what we are discussing that that means what you are accepting what you are taking how you are controlling okay and how you are utilizing all the financial and non financial resources now controlling means for example in your household affair guys i'm giving you your household affair for explaining this management activity because when i am talking to you you can relate your existence your your day to day activity with my words okay now for example uh sometimes you might have heard your mother she used to tell uh, uh this month no need to bring the rice back. still some rice is left over okay what does it mean when you are procuring by looking at your expenditure okay see try to minimize your expenditure okay so that means if you will bring more rice then there might be possibility of getting spoiled okay what we call that that is minimization of cost okay remember in management very crucial point very crucial term is there which we call optimization so what is optimization basically optimization deal with maximization of output and minimization of cost okay so when you do the procuring you are doing the or your mother by knowingly or unknowingly or unknowingly this managerial activity see and force you okay or she is incorporating involving this managerial terms and terminology when she is managing her house okay so next is controlling controlling means when it come to the expenditure okay so now uh, if i will give you a permission that how much you can uh, you can spend a bottle of water it can be 10000 rupees it a bottle of water it can be 50 rupees a bottle of water can also 10 rupees or 15 rupees now how you want to spend looking at your pocket definitely you will go for the expenditure so expenditure need to be controlled now coming to utilization okay now 
here if i am giving you utilization that will give you the core essence core idea of economics why the utilization is having more importance because utilization will give you the uses of limited resource what is limited resource do you think uh, your father is having unlimited money no do you think you are having unli unlimited um, accessibility of uh, job opportunity and all no. so when we are utilizing the resources we should have to keep it in your mind the resource which we are using it's limited in quantity and we have to be very careful when we are utilizing those aspect now why we are taking this financial and non financial resource for us as a general human being or the general rational human being we sir. find yes sir can you start the recording sir may i continue yeah continue no issue no issue so when we are uh, taking the rational human being why we are taking the rational human being rational human being is a concept where we are acting and reacting upon every situation very rationally that means if there is if i'll ask you uh, the price of onion is going to high how we will react by next 2 to 3 days your price of onion will go high how you will react definitely you will rush to the market whatever the price right now you will purchase at least 5 to 10 kg of onion because without onion you can't survive that is a human behavior a rational human behavior because if the price of onion will increase instead of paying a high price better to be rationalized and onion you can keep for another 15 days or one month easily okay so as a rational human being you rush to the market although your requirement is not for 5 kg or 10 kg but still so you will purchase okay so that's why why you do so because the finance is a limited aspect limited uh, factor okay so definitely you don't have unlimited to spend you need no so finance is a limited aspect and non financial resource now coming to non financial resource what are the non financial resource the raw materials do you think unlimitedly you can produce no this non financial resource also scares in uh uh in availability scarce means it is limited in availability okay so the management is a art and science of procuring control procuring controlling all the financial and non financial resource for achieving the best and the most economical result why the best because whatever the resource i am having and whatever the output or how i am utilizing those resource it should be the best because if i am not giving my best that means my utilization of resource somewhere it get lag okay and the economical result why economical because we are approaching to other if it is not economical that means our saving is going to less if right now i am not purchasing more onion maybe next week when it will be high i have to pay a high price for my right so this is how the management been considered as a arts and science arts definitely how better way sentimentally emotionally or uh, you know with love affection and the behavior how your mother she used to manage you and it's a science because we use some systematic process and methods to achieve our okay so this is the introduction of management now we will go for the functionality of management so coming to the functionality of uh, management management is a process of planning decision making organizing leading motivation and controlling the human resource okay first one management says it's a planning because before proceeding for any work 
okay even if your mother she will start cooking she will have a planning right day before uh, today like yesterday night she will ask tomorrow i am going to prepare the so and so in breakfast so 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 in uh, your lunch okay so it's a planning before you start any business you should go for the planning right next is decision making what decision will be beneficial for maximum of the uh, observer maximum of the participant that you have to take the decision best decision should be taken so that everybody should get maximum welfare or maximum benefit okay so next is organizing so to accomplish the work you have to organize you have to bring all these people into one platform and you have to make them work all together okay next is leading if there is any function and in your family so definitely your mother or your father he had uh, divided the work among the people because it should be properly on the time and best way it should be accomplished okay so this is how the leading and the motivation definitely uh, if any work your father want to be accomplished or your mother want to be done her work what she used to do you do this thing you complete this thing i will give you this money or i will ask your father to get a new phone okay or i will give you 100 rupees right so it's a kind of incentive sometimes in family you will say uh, i will support you i'll teach you or i'll get some uh, best thing for you it's a kind of motivation without any motivation it may be materialistic it may be non materialistic okay but still some kind of motivation will enforce you to accomplish the work and it's a process of management and the last one is controlling controlling whom you need to control you need to control the human resource the most difficult part to control the human resource because all these people who are working in one platform might be their way of thinking their education process may not be same okay so there is a chances of getting class between two group of people okay so next is financial physical and information resource of an organization financial means how much you can spend okay if you have money you can implement the most recent or most uh, you know uh, hybrid technology for your production unit or for your uh, uh, for your management process okay but if you don't have money still you need to run the uh, business okay how you can do that okay so you have to look at your finance next is your physical what else facility you are having you may not have much finance but you are having other uh, availability like your labor you are having a good management uh, group uh, your own land where you can start your business that also have a greater contribution to the business next is information resource in uh, today's world information plays a significant role to develop to continue to explore and to excel in a business okay so when we are having this information as a resource of an organization definitely if you are utilizing those resources those information with all other resources like your financial physical human motivation planning decision making and organization then definitely you will achieve your goal efficient manner and effectively why efficient and effective very similar efficient means that whatever the result you have provided that is the best one effective means whatever the result you are providing that will definitely work result is good but it's not working if it is not effective so your result is not optimized okay now next is your functions uh, why we need this uh, management we need this management to coordinate the activity right so previously people used people used to coordinate but systematically with methods with uh, uh, theories they have not proceed so for that reason management right from the civilization it was there but it has not been mentioned or uh, encrypted somewhere in a systematic process that's why 
Why we need management? Because of this coordination of activity to run a business and to make your employee happy and accomplish the work along with your employees to fulfill the organizational concepts in management. Okay, so the first or the most important uh, concept is your human activity in managing. Okay, or uh, very general we used to say HRM. But HRM is a typical paper. HRM is a paper where you are technically dealing with the employee. There is some rules, regulation, or conduct, code of conduct, which has been mentioned. And you have to follow those rules and tell your employee that you have to proceed with that. But activity management or human activity managing is the most essential part. Sometimes it happens that you have to play two different role or two different role for two different employees. Here I'm giving you one example, okay? So uh, in software sector, you must have seen some of you or in some of you might have uh, worked in some uh, software sector, okay? Now, one person who is very efficient, okay? If you give him work very easily and uh, uh, within the time, that person used to accomplish the work. But there is a problem with that person. He can't sit for a long time and he is having some family issue, might be somebody's health is not well. Okay. So in that case, what happened? That person needs some time relaxation, right? If the company will provide you time relaxation, then definitely that person will excel and give you more effective and efficient treasure, right? Next person. Same, same category, same level. Another person is there who is a very lazy person. If you have given work, if you are not continuously monitoring that person, that might be there is a chance you are not getting that effective rest. So in that case, what you will do? What you will do? You have to modify the policy. You have to modify the policy for two persons. One person who has to be restricted in terms of time, he should come to the office in time, but there should not be any conflict between two type of person. Okay, so some person will be assigned in some department, another person will be uh, assigned to some other department so that they are not, if the company want to segregate their way of action, then they can do if not, then it will be difficult for the company to adjust these two type of person. Okay, so here you need to uh, manage the human activity, which is an uh, essential part, and you have to give human effort. Remember, AI can, right now, it's the age of AI when we are looking for the fourth industrial, uh, fourth generation of industrial revolution. They're looking for AI, but AI can't understand a human feeling that well how a person, right? So, first or the most important factor is human activity. Next is your management is a process of designing and maintaining the environment in which the individual work together in a group. Okay, so now you have to set your uh, process or the system in such a way if there are two different mode of people, two different uh, thought process people are working, both can be managed, both can be brought into one platform and they should perform their best. Then only we will uh, fulfill the basic role of management. And according to Kuzin, management is the art of getting things done through the people, with the people, formally organized group. Okay, so without men, nothing can be done. How much you are developing the AI, how much you are utilizing the automated process of uh, uh, perfection in your machineries and all, but still you need some people to coordinate, to function and to continue the efficiency. Okay, so these are the basic concepts. With that, we are coming for the next coordination of 5M. Okay, which is very famous concept in management that is man, machine, material, money, and method. 
okay 5m which is very famous in a uh, management now if i ask all these four material four things are available like money material machine and method is available but what does it mean uh, man the manager or the brain behind the organization if that person is not there then definitely you can't provide a better solution or better effective production to your production unit right now seven goal which you need to achieve in the process of management okay right now you have uh, as per my knowledge you have joined your management okay so remember in your management process with your knowledge or without your knowledge you are going to achieve all these seven system somebody who is poor who is uh, excellent doesn't matter but by default with the course of time you are going to achieve all these uh, seven goals by default it will be developed within you what are those goals managed by by communication okay now uh, those who want to take a kind of test okay so now you can record take one topic speak for 2 minute record it and keep okay after completion of your mba again you speak on that topic record now you try to compare both you will find that management by communication your communication change scale okay dealing with the people that scale has been developed at your now management by system you have to follow the system initially you might be completing or accomplishing your work on time but there was no proper system been followed but completion of uh, management course or mba definitely you will follow a systematic process now management by result definitely management is a subject which is always looking for a result what you have done have you accomplished the work in a excellent mode or just like that okay so always you are looking for a excellent result next is management by exception okay so every time when you are telling to your uh, employer after your mba you will go and uh, join a company in your interview it will be asked how you are exception how you are different from other okay that will be developed by the management that will be developed by the mba okay so i'm not talking about mba that is okay mba is is uh, very smaller we are only talking about the business no it will also applicable to various other aspect other than the business okay now management by participation when you are participating definitely sometimes you are trying to manage your friend sometimes you try to manage yourself sometimes you are managing your professor sometimes you are managing your family people so that means how you develop those things every time when you are participating or interacting such kind of activity day by day you are developing that category now you remember when you are a small kid if you can go back to your uh, childhood when you were a small kid how you used to ask your father okay now you tell me how you are asking your father so definitely there is a great change so similarly after completion of your management course you will come to know how to take participation in a particular discussion particular activity and how to show your importance okay in mba there is a term we uh, very frequently used for the student as well as also uh, those people who are doing some project on uh, management jo dikhta hai wahi bikhta hai how better way you can showcase yourself then only the value will increase okay so any mba interview any pair have you seen that somebody is going with a very normal dress no there is a dress code why because there should be a first is your look how you are presenting look in the sense how you are dressing how you are behaving how you are presenting okay so participation will a uh, little ahead of this uh, your dress code or your uh, look 
Next is your management by motivation. Now, all of you, those who have joined this uh, management course, might have completed their BTEC or some other course or graduation, right? After that, they have joined this course. Okay, they have also faced some uh, CAT, GMAT, or some other uh, competitive thing. So, why you want to do this management? Why not the engineering? After engineering, again, why you are interested for management? Now, there are so many answers. But the core answer is the management will teach you the lifestyle and the activity which will be let you to live in a life in a rational manner. Okay, so that is your motivation. Next is your management by objective. Definitely, when we do some kind of managerial activity, we want to accomplish one of our goals. So that is our objective. Okay. Now, we have discussed that why we should go for management, what are the different goals we want to achieve, uh, all these things. The basic idea, what is management? Why I should do? Now you are feeling a little better off that, yes, I know something about the management. Now I should go for the branches of management, right? So uh, as for my knowledge, you guys are MBA first year. So you will start with your basic course. Now, while you are studying your basic course, you will come across variety of branches where right now there is a trend and previously there was a trend. So combiningly there are few, so many branches where you can do the specialization. So specifically you are having financial management, marketing management, human resource management. These three are known as the basic or the core area of specialization. Okay. After that, uh, operation management, which has been divided into two different parts. One is your strategic management, another is your production management. Why operation management been divided? Because uh, operation is a huge um, subject to accumulate the different area of production as well as the operation. Okay, when you are preparing or you are uh, you you are uh, making a process of your of designing uh, your production process. Okay, production model, that time you require the strategy. So strategic management will tell you about how better way you can do the strategy if you are having alternative options. When it comes to the production management, it will teach you about what should be produced, when should be produced, where should be produced. Okay, so the best example of this production management recently in this COVID situation, you came across. Now, those new startups who have recently started their business, when in COVID, it got closed. What they have done, most of them, they have shifted from their general way of production to making mask sanitizer. Okay, most of you have seen this uh, changes. Okay, with the startup business. But have you ever seen that Tata or uh, Mahindra or anybody else who started uh, this business? No. So this, this production management will tell you what to produce, when to produce, where to produce, how much to produce and for whom to produce. Okay, next is your service management. Service management and IT management both are, uh, you can say the brother uh, branches of management. Service management, it can be consumer service, it can be uh, IT service, it can be various type of service. Hotel management is a service management. Uh, it will go for the tourism management, it's a service management. IT management definitely is a service management. So these are different area of management and these branches are giving you the specialization and the core idea regarding that particular management. And the last part, say uh, last 10, uh, 15 years is healthcare management. Okay, so healthcare management plays a significant role. I'm not talking about 10 to 15, you can take it as 20 years also. Okay, so that healthcare management previously nobody ever ever thought of. Right, right now this healthcare management, basically the health insurance, it plays a significant role in a middle-class family because day-to-day, -day, the variety of 
diseases are coming and the expensive diseases are coming which is not uh, enough to acknowledge or your financial condition is not sufficient to be around so this healthcare management will tell you about hospital management as well as there is a small difference between hospital management and hospitality okay so don't uh, merge these two hospital management is a part of your healthcare management where uh, the hospitality means how you are taking care of your uh, customer Okay, how nice way you are dealing with your customer, right from the reception to service provided to other uh, service or the customer based service. Okay, so I hope you heard about uh, you come to know about different branches of management. Uh, I have not discussed about financial management, marketing management, and human resource management because in the course of time we are going to discuss these uh, basic part in our next. Slides. Okay. Now, slowly we are coming for this financial management. So, what is financial management? According to this, uh, finance may be defined as a position of money at the time it is wanted. Okay. Now, if you require money and you are having that money to spend, okay, then that is your finance. You are sufficient with finance. Okay, now if you require some money, but you don't have that money in your hand, what is your next step? What you will do? You will try to arrange it from your near and dear. Okay, you will try to get it from some non-banking financial institution or else you will try to approach banking institution, right? Now here, money plays a significant role. So money in a financial institution is the core concept or the core factor which will give a boost to the production, boost to your activity, boost to your strategy. If you are having money, you can, uh, you can incorporate most advanced technology. If you don't have money, you have to run with your traditional way, traditional technology, right? So according to Hampton, the term finance can be defined as the management of the flow of money through the, an organization, whether it will be corporation, school, bank, government agency, or private, private uh, limited, public limited, anything. Okay, so how you are utilizing that money, right? Anywhere you go, anywhere, if you say no, I don't, I don't want to live in this, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, this world. Okay, I will go and do uh, seva or puja in any religious, um, religious space. But then also you require some money. Freely, nothing can be done. Even if you are going to temple, any any religious institute, I'm not uh, taking only uh, the temple, any religious place you are going, what you are doing? You are donating something. There are also some finance. Okay, for the development of that authority also you require finance. So anything in this world, okay, whether it is tangible or intangible product, aspect which which will have the capacity to fulfill your demand okay is required money now here i would like to explain you the concept of demand i will take two minutes time to uh, explain this demand concept because when you know this concept of demand then you will understand the importance of finance so demand what is demand demand is a desire, demand is a want, okay? But demand, it will present as a demand when there are three aspects will be involved. First thing, you want to acquire a product. That means your willingness to acquire a product. Second, you are having capability to pay for that, okay? Second is your capability to pay, right? If you want a 50,000 rupees dress, but you are having capability of 5,000, 
can you demand for that uh, dress no you can't demand for that dress and third thing willingness to pay that means although you are having money but you are not ready to pay 50000 for that dress okay so three thing required to execute a desire or to want to a demand position what is required one is your willingness to acquire the product willingness to pay for the product and finally willingness to um capability to pay for that product so three thing is required why i am introducing this demand concept just a second so why i have introduced this financial management because whatever the product where the finance involved that means you want to grow you want to execute something different or something more in your process okay so to execute that you require the finance okay so why we need this financial management remember finance is a scarce or a limited resource which is not easily available okay so you must have seen your family your parents they used to say this month we had a uh, lots of expenditure as because um, we had the sera or we had sankranti some festival is gone so uh, for that reason whatever you are having demand next month we will take care because you know your earning force is limited and with that limited resource you need to you need to categorize your demand categorize your necessity first necessity will be fulfilled first first come first serve okay so the necessity or the priority basis you are fulfilling your demand okay so finance is the major factor which will be taken care or look after to giving the priority okay so for that reason you require financial management so uh right now i want if there is any question guys you can ask me if you have any question you can unmute yourself you can ask me no question no ma'am so coming to financial management it means the planning organizing directing controlling all the financial activities okay see as i told you the 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 functionality of management been applicable to any part of management whatever the branch you will take the functionality or the process of management go uh, process of management activity will be the same whether it is financial management whether it is hr management marketing management you have to follow this functionality okay so this with this functionality when you go for the financial activity that is procurement procurement means what you want to purchase on behalf of the company or on behalf of the organization and utilization of fund of the enterprise that means how you are utilizing so what is the most required thing if you see in the college also in your college what is the most requirement th required thing now student required a good interactive classes as because they are at home okay so if the most priority is providing good network writing paid good uh, uh, you know camera interaction and good platform for the student where they can uh, they can take the lecture they can listen the lecture more efficiently okay so whatever the resource you are having you should utilize in a proper manner next uh, it also apply the general management principle on uh, your financial resources okay now if you will ask me what are the different courses in finance now so before going for mba in finance i would like what are the different courses which are available in uh, today's trend in market 
Okay, so these are basically uh, these courses are basically looking at how efficiently you can utilize the money, how efficiently you can uh, invest the money, get your uh, work to be done, or saving, investment, borrowing, forecasting, production, different area, all the area where you are financial activity or monetary involvement, that area need to be observed, need to be dealt with a efficient manner. So for that reason, there are different financial courses are available looking at the different area as well as the category. Okay, so first is chartered accountant. No need to explain how important this chartered accountant. Okay, next is your chartered wealth manager. So this wealth manager basically looking at your uh, money, how much you are having, where you can invest. Okay, so all these financial companies, basically the bank and the mutual fund, uh, all these uh, people, analysts basically, they are looking after this chartered wealth manager. Next is uh, actually, actually is a, a, a portion where you are looking at your investment in your stock market investment, different type of investment, then chartered financial analyst. So this is also a very popular, very popular among people cfa is a very popular financial course which will basically give you how efficiently you can do your financial modeling right what, what is the requirement of financial modeling because if you know how better a way you can utilize your money then only you are having different options on that you will have different algorithmic presentation why your algorithmic? If something is not working, then the model says, if it is not working, the next point also ready. So you are not going to face any losses. So this data financial analyst basically deals with the financial companies like Goldman Sachs and all. So uh, the duty for them to analyze the market uh, market uh, figure, the stock market and other aspect and to suggest to form some model, some product in such a way so that uh, the investor will be beneficial. Okay, next is cost management and accounting. This is also a part of your accounting, which will give you the basic idea about the accounting, how uh, it has been dealt with the balance sheet and other, how you can uh, minimize the cost, where you are having more expenditure. So those people who are concentrating this type of subject, they can have good option in, uh, in uh, companies, various companies. Okay, so definitely our uh, star is MBA in finance. Why I'm telling star is MBA in finance, where you are coming across all these forces, a small portion, okay? You are not very specialized in chartered accountant, okay? But you, you can read a small portion of this chartered accountant courses, small portion of wealth management, financial analyst, cost analysis. So all these things you are reading a small portion so that you should have the basic idea regarding the finance, financial resource, activities, investment, and other aspects related to finance. Okay, definitely financial modeling, which is uh, last 10 uh, to 15 years, it has been trained. People are more affiliated with this financial modeling. Okay, how you are investing, where you are investing. Now, mostly those who are interested for stock market and other aspects, they can go for this course of financial modeling. Okay, so after doing this MBA in finance, if you are going for this financial modeling, that will be more effective and enhance your idea. Then uh, coming to economics, economics is the core of all. Some or the other way, when you start your uh, management course there is a business economics or it may be managerial economics i don't know what they are providing uh, different colleges are having different this is a compulsory subject why because you need to know the economic theory because they are the basic theory without the basic economic theory you can't proceed with the management so that's why managerial economics where you are utilizing the economic theory for the managerial aspect okay so that's why economics you are uh, either you can go for economics or financial economics uh, as a core course okay 
or you can do any way you are uh, reading this uh, uh, economics as a part of your management course. Next is your certified uh, public accountant. Again, it's a part of uh, accountant, uh, it's a part of chartered accountant. Okay, next is financial risk manager. Again, they are affiliated to uh, financial company. Okay, those who are uh, doing this uh, investment, uh, you can you can take anyone, you, any financial investment. Those uh, where you can uh, where you can uh, invest your uh, mutual fund, you can go for some kind of investment, stock investment. You can go with your uh, fixed deposit, like some kind of uh, some kind of uh, financial services. Also, be used to do okay stock option. So many aspects are there. Okay, so you will come across the different categories of risk you are going to deal with. What is hedge fund? What are the different types of fund where you can uh, invest or where you should not invest? And remember, when you are studying, what type of psychology you are having regarding the finance that also matter. Okay, so three type of people available in this market. You can take it as in broad two type of people. Okay, one is risk lover, one is risk averser. Those people who are having less income or the middle class people, they are the risk averser, right? Those people who are having more money, okay, if there is any loss, they can bear up that cost, they are the risk lover. So those people who are risk lover, they basically go for this gambling, stock market investment and other aspects as a gambling. Okay, right now, you might guys maybe come across with the concept of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and all. What is that? That is virtual money, virtual money. That means that the money is not exist, but still it's work like a money. And so many times you must have seen the uh, advertisement. If you are earning this much percentage of interest from your fixed deposit, this much from your mutual fund, okay, this much from your stock market. But look at the percentage of uh, cryptocurrency is giving, look at the percentage of Bitcoin is giving. But those people who are having excess money, they should go for that. Okay, so the financial risk manager is a course, is a subject which is dealing with uh, to let the investor know what, what, where and how much risk is been associated with an investment. Okay. Next is uh, certified financial planner. Those people they deal with uh, different type of planning, looking at your availability of resources. Now, previously, uh, if we are taking this 15 year back, people are uh, more interested. The common people, I can say the 80 percent of they are more interested for the normal saving, some LIC policy, some bank deposit or fixed deposit, and finally whatever they are having you know, hand to hand, some kind of transaction. But right now people want to explore more uh, areas where they can go for the investment. So for that aspect to show their different aspect, different type of return, different type of option, this financial planner or certified financial planner, they basically want, right? Now investment banking, again, uh, they are not coming uh, under this uh, normal category of banking, but this investment banker, which is another uh, newly uh, originated uh, branch of finance, they are talking about the investment. They are basically looking after, uh, after this saving concept. Okay, how the saving concept are basically coming? If a person who is getting more, um, more interest, do you think, uh, purchase more? No. The person who is getting a good interest rate, then definitely that person will invest on that product instead of instead of going for consumption. Okay. So there is a there is an inverse relation, inverse relationship between your consumption and saving. For saving, you will reduce your consumption. If you increase your saving, you will go for more investment. Okay, because saving definitely you won't keep it in your pocket. You want to invest somewhere. When you are investing more, there the multiplier effect works. What the multiplier will do? You will get some interest 
which will maximize, which will uh, increase the volume of your saving or your investment. Okay, so that is that basically deals with this investment banking. Next is your statistic. Statistic is required for everyone. Whatever the course I'm discussing, the statistic is required for everyone. Simple statistic, I'm not asking about you go for the modeling, go for the statistical analysis and so on and so on. Simple thing, the statistic, when you are preparing a pie chart, okay, you want to show how nicely you can present the different expenditure, division of expenditure, okay? So for that reason also you require the statistic. Statistic will give you a wing, a step ahead when you are going with the finance. So my request to those who, uh, who are interested for this finance, they should also read the small concept, the very basic concept of statistic. It will be very, very uh, helpful. Next is your charter uh, certified account, okay? So this is also a, uh, a course which will give you the specification or implication of the chartered accounting on how you can imply the, the type of work. Okay, so these are the different courses which are very famous and popular among the people, among the students. And some of these courses which are required your MBA in finance to pursue that. Because in these course, except if the MBA in finance and economics, some of these course, they are not going to teach you the basic of MBA or basic of finance. Okay, so to learn this basic of finance, you have to go with the specialization in finance course. Okay, so these we have discussed about different courses in finance. Next, when you will go around or you have taken this MBA in finance. Okay, so I have uh, taken some of the common courses which has been offered in MBA in finance. Okay, so what I'll do, I will tell you these common courses and what are the basic objectives associated with this MBA in finance that also we are going to discuss. Okay, the first one, first one is your international finance, corporate investment management, security analysis and portfolio management, small business and corporate finance, investment analysis and portfolio management, derivatives and risk manage, uh, risk market, corporate valuation and financial market. There are some other courses also there. Um, but, excuse me. Yes. Uh, if you have a PPT, I think you can share your screen. Yeah, I have to share the screen. I have no, not shared. No, no, you have not shared. Yeah, I did share the screen. Why it is not uh, so till now I was uh, speaking. I thought I have shared the screen. Let me see. So you guys uh, could have asked me. I don't know why it is said. Ma'am, you'll have option below to share screen. Yeah, share screen I have done. Uh, then you can click on the yes, yes ma'am. See, this one I think I have discussed with the PPT, but unfortunately you guys have not. Anyway, so all these PPTs are there. So, now it's here. Naren, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, visible, visible. Yeah. yeah. So, sorry, sorry, uh, all of you. It's been one hour, more than one hour. I keep on uh, discussing, but still, the uh, student they didn't uh, intervene. The screen is not visible. I'm not uh, that much uh, acquainted to this uh, Zoom. We are more uh, familiar to Google. Anyway, so uh, we will discuss about some of these. Uh, Points which are affiliated or some of the course which are uh, you can find in your MBA in finance. Okay, so international finance, 
corporate investment management, security analysis and portfolio management, uh, small business and corporate finance, investment analysis and portfolio management, derivative and build market, corporate valuation and finance and modeling, and some of the specialization course like hedge fund management, different type of fund management also been provided. Okay, so this is, uh, we are going to discuss all of these course in a very brief, so that you will have the idea if you are going through this MBA and finance, what different variety of course you will find. You may find two, three, four more course for specialization in finance. Okay, so let's just discuss about uh, the course. First one is your international finance. So this course is a very common course. So this is a very common course in MBA finance. So it basically describes about the transaction and operational aspect of foreign exchange market. Okay, whenever you do any business, you always try to expand your business. You are dealing with the foreign, um, foreign traders, foreign uh, producers or exporters. Okay, so you should know that what should be the operational aspect in foreign exchange market, how it, uh, it is focused on the forex participant, the exchange rate determination. Okay, you must have seen the US uh, dollar has been increased. Okay, what does it mean? That is your exchange rate determination. When you are having tariff, when you are having exchange rate, when you are having some kind of uh, uh, restriction on the product. So all these aspects like arbitrage, exchange rate, everything. When you are doing all sort of related studies that will give you the international finance, okay? So some people, they use this word international finance, some people use international finance and management. Okay. <clears throat> so if you read, if you go through this course, you will come across basically about the exchange rate determination, international arbitrage, foreign exchange rates, international capital market, and other things which are related to the international transaction between you, your company, and the product and the foreign company. Okay, so that is your international finance. Next is your corporate investment management. Nowadays, the world or half of the um, half of the people, those who are in services sector, they are dealing with this corporate world. Okay, so the corporate investment management that will deals with the investment management. The basic is investment management, which is focusing on the application of the theories, which are issued by the manager. Now, what is portfolio manager? That means you are having a particular product in your financial investment. You are having one particular product. Now, the job of a particular portfolio manager is to, is to project that product is to show that product, how is this product, how it is going to uh, excel your investment, okay? All the investment related details will be given by the portfolio manager. And also the portfolio manager is uh, one major reason who are, who are developing, who are presenting one particular fund or type of fund to its investor. Okay, so investment manager, which uh, and using your theory of investment, going the portfolio, going uh, along with your portfolio management, uh, then investor in general, and to provide conceptual and the fundamental foundation for the purpose of understanding the investment analysis. Okay, when you are going for any investment. Okay, whether it is mutual fund, in mutual fund also different categories are there. In health insurance also different categories are there. In stock market, there are n numbers of categories. Okay, so when you are going for any sort of investment, then definitely it is coming under this corporate investment management, right? Next is your security analysis and portfolio management. The security analysis or security term is mostly associated with the common stock, stock market, stock option, and different approaches to achieve that uh, uh, achieve that uh, investment. And uh, it basically uh, teach you how to build stock portfolios. 
what are the different bond how the government is uh, opening the bond what is the difference between government bond and uh, other uh, private uh, portfolios okay so it basically give you how you can secure or minimize the risk of an investment how can articulate the risk level and the risk associated with the investor okay so this security analysis and portfolio management will tell you about all sort of risky investment in your stock market okay so which will make your uh, your market to be efficient next is your small business and corporate finance uh that is also known as corporate finance some of the cases and some of the cases it is uh, known as uh, small business and corporate finance when corporate finance been taken it is a broad uh, concept which is dealing with the investment where the investor will deal or the investor will look at the profile of the corporate sector or the different company and by looking at their past record past uh, performance they will go for the investment so when we are dealing with a small business and corporate finance they are basically looking at the aspect uh, about the entrepreneurship innovation and entrepreneurship startup small scale business msme so all these things are small business where your uh, your investment requirement is comparatively less than the but here the chances of growth is more if your product is a emerging product if your product is a very effective product for the uh, for the market then definitely your business will excel in greater way right so for that reason corporate finance mostly nowadays been taken as small business and corporate finance next is your investment analysis and portfolio management unlike your security analysis this is your basic application of uh, finance theory so this finance theory deals with your public finance deals with your corporate finance deals with your personal finance okay so different type of finance is available how you need to manage your personal finance public finance as well as your corporate finance okay so when we are thinking about your our personal finance we are very careful while we are going for investment but we are not that much aware about the public finance as well as the corporate finance okay so this investment analysis and portfolio management will talks about this type of financial theory which has been managed by the manager investor and mostly it is it has an uh, implication of public policies what is public policies when the taxation is high implication of your implication of cft sst now if you go to one of the state okay the petrol price is 100 rupees because the state uh, tax is comparatively less you go to another state you will find uh, petrol price is uh, uh, 100 why now why there is a difference between this uh, petrol price because of the state tax okay gst cst sst and other taxes and policy okay service tax okay 18% gst service tax then coming to your um, uh, your personal income tax okay all these are coming under this investment analysis and portfolio management next is your little specialized uh, that is based on your stock market that is your derivatives and risk management or risk market where you are analyzing the diverse derivative product okay so in the course of time you will learn about what is derivative and what are the different type and variety of products are available in this derivative market okay so you will come across this uh, this type of derivative and what are the, the variety of risk been associated with that okay so you need to have this critical thinking where you will learn about the strategic planning optimization process okay modeling analytical thinking decision making so all these problem solving skills will be uh, incorporated in this particular chapter so you will refresh with this course with your financial modeling theories and its implication right next is your corporate valuation and financial modeling right so when uh, 
we will discuss about this corporate valuation and financial modeling. Uh, it is more affiliated to a company's profile. Now, this will teach you how to do the basic modeling, how to, uh, how to understand the finance and what finance will be model in what process that also you need to take care of. Okay, this also teaches you or uh, you will come across about the forecasting. Okay, so everyone, those who have started business or who are having the business, they always want to know what will be the future of your business. How much you are producing? What you are producing? What is the requirement of the um, of the market? How you can incorporate the product in the market? How people will come to know about your market? Right. So right from the valuation of your business in the modeling your financial activity all these aspects right from the theory analysis modeling implication orientation uh, valuation all these techniques you will come across in this corporate valuation and financial modeling okay now if you have any uh, question guys you can ask me the last part uh, we uh, come that is your uh, opportunities uh, associated with MBA finance. So with, before we will discuss those parts, uh, I want to know if you have any question. Any question guys, you want any clarification, any doubt? You can unmute yourself. No question. Okay, so now coming to this opportunities which are associated with MBA in finance. Now, if you will ask me, uh, simply if you are not going for any kind of job, but with the degree of MBA in finance, you can go with your own startup. Why? Because MBA in finance will teach you the core concept of managing your available resource. And what is that resource? That is your finance. Okay. Once you know how to how efficiently you can utilize your finance, then you will know where to invest, market research, and other aspects that also can be implemented. Okay. So MBA in finance is having wider option what i have mentioned over here those are few selected okay but those who want more and more options in mb ahead okay so the first option Definitely, if you are having MBA in finance, you can go for uh, the option of uh, financial advisor. The, the first category of job. Okay, once you enter to the company, definitely you won't uh, look for a higher position, but you will start with the financial manager or financial executive. Next position will be your financial manager. As you gain your experience, you will go for the financial manager. From financial, you will go for this financial advisor. Financial advisor, then you will go for financial analyst. Okay. So these are the different steps. Remember guys, these are the different steps. Once you join the company, your position will be definitely financial executive. From executive to financial manager, financial manager, you can step forward for the financial advisor. Then you will go as your financial analyst, then budget analyst, 
you can uh, also can opt for this financial service and sales agent okay investment banker which is a very lucrative job uh, at present situation then cash manager cash manager is also a very old but still it is very uh, very important job which to finance next is manager consultant okay so if you are having the financial consultancy then you can provide a good you can earn a huge amount of money from this financial consultancy then if you want uh, like once you have covered up 10 to 15 years financial aspect or finance related job then you can opt for the job of finance chief financial officer okay so chief financial officer will be a single post for a company or maybe two posts in a company okay so going and your accuracy your efficiency will determine whether you are efficient to present this uh, position okay next is corporate controller that is also a very big uh, point unless until you are having real time experience real time implication of your knowledge if you have really done good in your business okay then you can opt this option for this corporate controller next is accounting manager that is a part of accounting which is uh, similar as your financial manager okay so accounting manager is a part uh, also sometimes they are been uh, kept as a chartered uh, any person who had completed his or her a uh, chartered accountant they can also offer this accounting manager but the job the the kind of job they are pursuing a little different but in future they use the similar type of trade okay so if we will look for this new opportunity in mba finance now it has been wide spread it uh, mostly it depend on this soft money okay what is this soft money basically where the virtual money or the soft money plays significant role only the money will be deducted from your account and credited to somebody else account but virtually it has been done if you are earning something from their account it will come to your account okay so this type of virtual finance so one of the best example of virtual finance is what is the best uh, example of virtual finance virtual ma finance online payments, yes online payments ma'am google pay phone pay yes virtual finance anybody nowadays uh, it's a very interesting fact in fact everybody is crazy about that can you tell me virtual investment bitcoin. and bitcoin yes bitcoin cryptocurrency right so these are Finance. All of the sudden, you have invested, and they will show you you are having uh, so much of uh, return out of that. You earn this much of profit. Okay, you are very happy. The very next moment, the value of that uh, particular product has come down. Again, it will go up. It's a kind of you should understand the market, the flow of market. Okay, so that is that is most uh, efficiency required for this particular type of. Option. So, virtual finance. Next is financial analytic, including the risk analysis, client profitability uh, analysis or cash flow analysis, trading, farm using the knowledge, club with the technology. Now, if somebody will ask you, what is your idea regarding, or if you want, uh, do you want to invest in uh, cryptocurrency or Bitcoin? what will be your answer so now onward uh, in fact uh, uh, my slides i want to discuss i want to know if somebody will ask you okay you are having normal job if somebody will ask you which one you will prefer a mutual fund bitcoin stock market or fixed deposit which one you would like to invest what will be your answer now it's a discussion forum guys yes 
Ma'am, Bitcoin and the stock market. Bitcoin and stock market. So, idea about this stock market. How you, how much you know about stock market? Basic knowledge, ma'am. Like. Yeah. Lately, I'm not. I'm asking a general layman point of view. How much you know about stock market? Like, uh, if we invest in invest in any stock today, it say its price is hundred rupees. So at the end of the day, how much price will it hike or will it decrease? Like we usually uh, yeah, invested for longer period of time and then. Something like that. Okay. So, anyone else who want to uh, include uh, the idea? Anyone? It's an open platform. Remember, guys, there is one concept right from the beginning. You keep it in your mind. Nothing is wrong in management or in economic. Everything. There is nothing called thumb rule that this will happen. There is nothing called thumb rule. Every aspect, every concept, whatever you are saying, that is a hypothesis. Because as a rational human being, your thought process, your psychology says that you understood the particular concept in this particular way. If a miser who is not investing, who is not eating, what is his psychology? His psychology also says, okay, he want to save more. You don't want to waste. Why to spend money on food? Why on luxurious cloth? Why to spend money on luxurious car? With normal car also, it's okay, right? So none of these concepts are wrong. So I'm asking you. I'm giving you an open platform where we can have a discussion, and I can give you some clarity about knowledge about your finance and financial operation. Okay. So any other uh, ideas regarding the stock investment? Yes, no idea. Nobody want to invest in stock market. Okay, so just as she told that she will invest in a stock and see uh, after a few years, she will get some out of something out of that. Now, how you need to choose a particular stock where you want to invest. Okay, so that particular process or that particular uh, theory will come across when you are going for the security risk analysis or security analysis and portfolio management. Okay, you will come across, you will start analyzing each and, each and every stock. What are the different stock available? Which are Indian stock? Which are foreign stock? Okay, which Indian stock? If I'm a uh, very, you know, national uh, oriented, I'm a very uh, Indian, I feel proud to be Indian. That sort of person definitely I'll go for Tata, Mahindra because they are good people, right? Our psychology is like that. So if you are choosing any Indian product, now what is the performance of that product? If I want to invest in Tata, right? So what I need to understand first, I need to understand how the, the performance uh, or how Tata had performed from past to 10 years. If it is performing slowly, it's a steady growth. Steady growth means continuously it's increasing. Okay, then as a normal and rational human being, I don't want to lose my money. So what I'll do, I will invest in that particular product. Now, I'm a gambler. Okay, I know how to put my money and take out the money. There is a day trading, one day trading. Okay, what will happen? Morning, when the stock market will open, you will purchase that particular, purchase that particular uh, product. Okay, while the, the market or the stock market is going to close, you are also going to close your, uh, you are going to sell your product. That also there, right? So when you are thinking about stock, just now, uh, may I know your good name, Nana? Just now uh, you said about the stock market. Amulya. Yeah, Amulya. So 
when you are opening or you are investing in a stock for your kind of stock you are always looking for a strategy process like which product is having a steady growth rate it may not be very hyper it may not be having very fluctuating okay but it should be a steady that means every year i may get some 10% of profit or something like that but still i'm i'm not going to lose this product because this company i'm having faith on this company this company is not going to be now uh, have you heard about a company called satyam have you heard about company satyam satyam computer no so uh like tcs mahin tech mahindra and other uh, reputed company there was a uh, company called satya ma'am at that ma'am yes now what happened to uh, satya have you heard about ma'am they have been short their profit more ma'am so that their share value has been increased that become a scam ma'am yes so there was like uh, two major scam happened in stock market One is your Harshad Mehta scam. Everybody knows. Now one uh, also uh, I think, yeah, series is coming. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So what basically they do? How they do the scam? Okay. You are having less investment. Okay. Now what you will do? You will multiply the thing and forecast. and present your investment in a greater way okay if i am having say 100 rupees okay so what i have done i have i will show i have purchased 5 rupees this 5 rupees this 5 rupees this okay so likewise so many 5 rupees i have invested i'm giving you small glimpse of how the finance and accounting work okay so you have paid 5 rupees but you got So are fifteen rupees or twenty rupees product, right? Yes or no? You paid when you do the business. What you do? Are you paying the total money? No. If you are taking twenty rupees product, you are paying only five rupees or ten rupees. So similarly, what happened? You have gathered the amount of thousand rupees, but your investment is hundred rupees. Now, where the scam happened? That is a policy of. Uh, what you have done that is a policy that is a theory of uh, investment and uh, business but what where the scam exactly happened the profit been earned by the company it has been taken or it has been removed but it has not been updated the money you have been taken that has updated in the board that this money is not available now if you are seeing some person is wearing gold Okay, I'm giving small example. One person, one lady who is wearing a gold every day. She is having thick uh, chain and everything. Okay. Now you know initially you know she is having all this gold bangle gold product. Continuously you saw you didn't find any change. One day when you come across to her, you find that that gold chain is uh, no more gold chain. That is one gram gold. What happened? the whole idea about that uh, this lady is a very uh, wealthy lady it has been broken the similar thing happened to satya and harshad mehta case also so whatever is there that has been multiplied and project on the board that we are earning this much of profit when people uh when us like western country they face financial crisis okay so that time if you are having financial crisis what you will do you will take out your investment where you have invested whom you have given money for investment what you will do you will ask give me back my money i'm have present it so the western country we us and other country who have invested in that uh, particular company they have taken the money now what happened the air bubble okay the bubble the financial illusion been created it has been blasted when they have taken their money and you have taken out the money for your personal uh, purpose what is left over definitely the company will go for the 
when proxy. Okay, so any kind of scam, any kind of uh, fraud happen in financial sector due to this bubble. Okay, we used to call it a bubble, which will show you a great thing, a very nice thing, uh, exploring thing, very, uh, you know, wealthy manner. But when it comes to the uh, real implementation or the execution, that bubble become a mirage. Okay, it's an illusion. Okay, so this financial risk also, when you will learn about this MBA in finance, with your experience, you will come to know that which are the real finance, which are the real investment, which company is having some virtue, some uh, loyalty towards its investor. Okay, now what happened to Vijay Malia? What happened to Nirav Modi? Those people who have invested in their stock, they simply got, they lost their money. Okay, so this is exactly happened on the MBA final process you are going to learn, right? So that will help you to articulate what exactly happened in market. Once you know the different type of danger, accordingly, you will get ready with the solution, right? If somebody will tell you that uh, there is a way there is a chances of getting snake. Okay, so what you will do? You will get a stake or something uh, through which you can save yourself, right? So these financial force are nothing but the stake or the equipment which will help you to know what product, financial product, investment and involvement are real, genuine and effective, okay? And the companies are paying a high price to the finance people. Remember, minimum payment for any finance uh, employee is uh, start from six lakh in India. I'm not talking about outside. Its minimum price is six lakh. Uh, that means the lowest price is six lakh. And you can go up to crore plus. Why they are paying a high price to uh, finance people? Because finance is the only term, if you leak a single data, then the company is going to demolish. So they never, any company, they won't want to mingle, they don't want to finance people because they, the finance people, they hold the whole secret of the company. Okay, so uh, these are the variety of, uh, variety of courses, variety of uh, knowledge, which you can learn from this finance course. And there are many more finance options, finance, uh, uh, there are uh, finance course, basically at uh, present age, we are looking for this entrepreneurship involvement. Okay. So, any other Ma'am, which job is popular right now in finance? Uh, people are looking for this analyst and risk uh, um, managers. Okay. People are basically looking for this. Now, the options are more broader. Okay. If options are more broader, you want uh, somebody to give you the exact articulation or exact idea about the investment, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So company people, they are looking if there's a person who can tell you if we will invest in so and so product or so and so company, then we will get good uh, output. Now, so many people are there in port as a portfolio manager, but you will find only few people who are successful. Right. So these portfolio uh, are uh, Mainly financial analyst is a job, okay, which will give you uh, lots of respect because uh, first of all, people will heard that you are a financial analyst. They will, uh, every time they will ask you some of the other question related to your job. Okay, they will ask like whether I should uh, uh, invest in this product or that product. It's another, like a lawyer. If you see a lawyer, uh, anywhere you go, if you are a lawyer, people will ask you, what will happen if I do this? If something happened like this, then what will be the rules regulation? What is the legal 
Okay, similarly, the job of a financial analyst also, everybody, those who want to save a little bit, they also uh, required a financial analyst or a risk manager. Okay, this financial course, uh, why I'm giving uh, importance uh, on this MBA in finance, because you will learn all the given courses. If you see, uh, we have provided here the list of courses which you can find in, um, in variety of ways. Some are after MBA in finance, you have to do some, uh, you can do after your graduation. Okay, but the MBA finance uh, combining all the uh, varieties of courses in one program itself. Within two years, you will learn for uh, four or six, I'm not sure. Uh, MBF are like finance course, which are the combination of all. Some are the other part, other subject you are going to touch from all these given options and courses. Okay, so yes, it's a very good option if you go with MBA finance with uh, strategic power planning because previously. Uh, in our age, we used to have MBA finance, HR, or marketing. Okay, but right now they are giving two two options. Right, one is uh, you can take finance and strategic uh, finance with uh, some IT. Okay, it's a very good option. I don't know how uh, the college is offering, but uh, if you are having such kind of option, first you need to think which one is more interesting for you. Whether the stock, risk, or the investment, which one is more interesting fact for you? Once you come to know your interesting fact and uh, your wishes, definitely the rest of the things will be well framed. So many options are there. Okay. So uh, first, you need to find out what is uh, what you want. Okay. So more questions. So there is boys, right? Or um, boys have uh, taken this rule of uh, ladies first. So there is no question. It assumed to be there is no question. So Nagadu sir. Kindly unmute yourself. Any questions you want to interact, you can start interacting with Madam No guys. Mm -hmm. Regarding any emerging trends, any other information regarding today's discussion. So trend has been given like a various option and the course which they can find in finance. So it has been discussed. So if uh, any clarification they want, in fact. A link also I have provided. What should be the packages where they can get job and other things that also available. So these are the courses which you can find and uh, packages fees also which has been charges okay uh, now i'm giving you salaries basically uh, those who are doing this course so financial courses how much you are going to get the salary if you are a chartered accountant uh, from the top recruiter you are getting eight lakh and the minimum uh, salary you can draw that is uh, six lakh MBA finance, it will start minimum six lakh. Average salary we are taking seven to eight lakh. From the even if it is like normal uh, financial uh, officer or financial executive, your salary will be six lakh above. Okay, that has been uh, uh, like it's a uh, bottom line. Coming to chapter financial analyst, uh, if you have completed uh, from the USA. Basically, CFA Institute is giving this degree. Uh, so, minimum salary is 7 lakhs. Uh, I'm talking about the minimum sal salary. It's, uh, it has written as uh, 
average, but minimum salary is 7 lakh, it can go up to any extent. So next, you can find a chartered wealth manager. Uh, also, wealth manager is having a very good option. You can uh, find good uh, salary out of this. Uh, Eight lakhs minimum package. Now, for uh, all, should we do chartered accountant course? No, 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 no. Okay. See, chartered accountant only those people who are affiliated to accounting. Accounting means you are only dealing with the balance sheet, uh, preparing your profit loss account and other things. They are going for this chartered accountant. But CFA is a completely different. After your MBA, if you want to continue with your CFA, then it will be great help. Right. So if you are having the finance knowledge, because CFA is a course, it took lots of time for people to accomplish. Normally, uh, it has been given for uh, one year or two, maximum one and a half year course, but people took it four years to complete that course. It is little difficult, but still the, uh, the salary are uh, too good. Uh, like above to the salary, you will know a lot about the market, financial market. Okay, so this financial planner job is a little a lawyer job. So MNC like uh, ICICI, Standard Chartered, American Express Bank. So mainly uh, these banks, they used to keep this relationship officer. Okay, so these relationship officers, their duty is to convince people to show how they will uh, invest their uh, money in a secure fund. Okay, mostly banking sector and the capital finance sector, they used to have this post called financial planner. Okay, so accounting, where you are having this accounting doesn't require only the accounting knowledge, also require you should have the finance or the basic finance knowledge. Okay, so Chartered Institute of Management Accounting, this is this is an accounting course where which you need to complete uh, uh, complete your uh, CA course. Okay, next is your uh, guys. Any doubts you can start asking? Any clarifications? Yeah, risk manager. Just now we had a discussion about the risk associated with uh, stock investment and other uh, virtual investment and so so the salary of a risk manager is very high okay minimum it is uh, like 10 lakhs or so because if they are accurate and they perform well then the company or the investor will have a very good uh, position okay so that's why the salary of a risk manager is very high next uh, coming to cost and management accounting you have to go for this uh, accounting course accounting course, uh, company secretary, you have to do this course. Uh, yes, financial modeling and investment banking. Uh, this is, uh, again, if you are having uh, MBA in finance, then you will uh, get more, uh, uh, like, you know, very easily you can accomplish this financial modeling and investment banking. This is a course of four uh, different, uh, uh, different courses. Combining it has been presented. If you after your MBA, you can complete this particular course. It is costing around uh, fifty to seventy thousand. Okay, in Indian currency, it will cost you fifty to seventy thousand. Uh, but uh, once you complete along with your MBA in finance with this financial modeling and investment banking, definitely you will need and uh, exposure to this uh, employment. Okay. So these are some of the course which I have um, taken, like where from you, you will come to know about the uh, minimum eligibility for finance courses, the top financial courses, and uh, what are the average salary, which are very common question people used to ask. Us. The top in, uh, international recruiter also, these are the groups which they used to recruit the finance. Remember, even if you don't want to do anything, right? Finance is a course. If you're sitting at your home, you trade by yourself, sitting in front of your computer, then it's enough to earn your lifestyle. 
In fact, you will earn much better than that. Okay, that's why finance is having always a uh, soft corner, you can say the greater importance compared to any other subject. Okay, so here also I have mentioned some of the, um, you can say the elective courses which are recently affiliated to uh, the MBA, like air, airlines and airport management, banking insurance and financial services, brand management, biotechnology, which is giving you the uh, health management, communication, uh, customer relationship management, clinical research, clinic management, uh, energy management, and uh, entrepreneurship and business consultancy. Okay, so environmental management, executive uh, MBA. Okay, executive MBA are uh, foundational who have uh, already joined, uh, they are doing their job and they want to uh, take a crash course type of form. So mostly this executive MBA has been provided by uh, IIMs. I think ISB, ISB also it is provided. Okay, then general management, healthcare management, hotel management, uh, human resource management is a, uh, one of the basic course, infrastructure management, international business management, uh, internet marketing management, what we call uh, very uh, frequently, very popular as e-commerce. Okay, uh, insurance management, all these things are the extended courses which are available in management. Nowadays, my suggestion, if you are doing your MBA, try to something which is having a uh, more way to explore. If you are going with the traditional process, you might be blocking your opportunity. So go with something ex extended, explorative, a little risky, but still it will be uh, having a thrilling experience when we will go to this process. Okay. So any um, more questions?